Okay, so I said that I was going to do a starting a makeup collection video, and this is that. My eyes are very watery because I just put contacts in, since tonight I have D&D, &D and then I'm going to a uh, show with, uh, with some of my friends. So, uh, just to start, um, you kind of always want a moisturizer of some kind in your collection and this isn't just for people who want to st start with makeup I mean like everybody because especially because we're moving into fall so when fall comes you get I get very chapped skin I get awfully horribly horrifically chapped skin especially like around my eyes and my nose I get chapped skin absolutely everywhere so because I already have dry skin, and then it gets drier, so naturally, you want as much moisture as possible, so that's just something that everybody should have. I use the fourth ray watermelon milk because I have a redness problem, so that's this is good for that, and then I move into a primer. I usually don't use a primer unless I'm working with the stick foundation because a uh, primer just helps a stick foundation glide on easier. And this is the Ciate London uh, watermelon primer that I got in a Ipsy bag. Um, this is also pretty hydrating. My face smells like watermelons right now. It's very nice. So now that I look like I am absolutely want positively completely sweaty, uh, foundation. Now, I usually have three foundations at any given time open. Uh, whenever I ha whenever it is hot out or I'm going to be somewhere where it's going to be hot, I use a mattifying foundation. Uh, because this will dry on hard and stay on for a long time. This is pretty high coverage. Uh, whenever it's normal out, I will go in with a uh, satin foundation or a moisturizing foundation. Not this one though, because this one sucks and it makes my face look absolutely cratered. But now, since we are entering the time whenever I even so much as think about going outside and my face starts to completely turn, get like super chapped, I use a stick foundation. Uh, this is my winter shade because I've fi finally finished my summer shade. This is like my face in a tube. So I go in with a stick foundation and like I said, I don't recommend everybody has a stick foundation. It, just depends on your skin type. If you have normal skin, just kind of do whatever you want. But if you have oily skin, you want to go in with uh, nor you want to go in with the um, mattifying. And if you have dry skin, you want to go in with hydrating or with a hydrating foundation or a cream foundation, like I like to do. I also use a brush to blend out my foundation because a brush, you spend like $7 on it once and it's good forever. Meanwhile, if you use a beauty sponge, the I do have some beauty sponges and I usually use them for like blending my concealer out, but I don't have one at home with me. But uh, beauty sponges, uh, you have to throw those out after... You should throw them out after three months. You absolutely have to have them thrown out after six months because they just become absolute breeding grounds for bacteria. I prefer a high coverage foundation for myself because I don't like my freckles and I don't like my redness, so I want all of that to just kind of go away. But if you kind of just want, an even, want to even out your skin tone, you'd probably want to try out a BB cream or some other light coverage foundation. After that, I go in with a concealer to brighten up my under eyes so it looks like I actually sleep. For this, generally the rule is that you want to go uh, two shades lighter than your skin tone and if you use a concealer to contour, you go to two shades darker than your skin tone. 
I only, I usually only have two concealers out at any given time, the one for highlighting and a normal skin tone one for just spot correcting if you're not wearing makeup that day, but you have like acne or something. Also, don't do the thing that all the uh, beauty influencers do where they do huge triangles under. It makes you look super cakey. Believe me. This one that I'm using a little bit goes a long way, but it's not cruelty free, so I recommend using the e.l.f. one. The e.l.f. one's really nice, and it's cruelty free, and it's like six dollars. So, after that, you go in with a setting powder. This kind of makes all the foundation dry off. Uh, I don't bake or like let the powder sit for too long because I have dry skin, so that just invites negativity. What I'm using right now is the ColourPop No Filter Powder. You only need one, one loose powder and one uh, pressed powder at a time. I don't get people who have these big collections of powders because Powders are powders. They all pretty much do the same thing. If you can't tell, this is uh, this has a little bit of a pigment to it, so it doesn't flash back. I re I highly recommend a pigmented uh, powder, um, especially if you are a person of color, because flashback will definitely get you then. Um, I try to just go on and uh, hit this until I don't feel... Uh, oily anymore from the foundation and then after that I go in with eyes now eyeshadow palettes are something oh also a note about expiration dates uh, tube products like this cream products like this you're going to want to pay attention to the expiration that date that says don't keep this open for longer than 12 months because if you keep it open longer than 12 months since you're rubbing your face all over it, it will grow the bacteria in it whenever the preservatives run out. However, if you have a pump bottle, you can you get a little bit of leeway with it because it's not going directly into because it's not going directly into your skin. However, if you have a squeezy tube bottle, that is definitely going to also uh, get into your skin. So, just a warning about that. But, American, if you're watching this, that doesn't mean that you can just go 11 years using the same thing, especially because I know that the kind of foundation that you use doesn't have a pump on it. So you should have thrown that out probably about nine years ago. And I'm being generous. Um, next, I go in with an eye primer. People sometimes use concealers. I find a lot more use for it out of... I find that eye primers are a lot more useful. This is one that I'm trying to use up. It's an e.l.f. eye primer stick. I like their uh, liquid eye primers better. And again, anything liquid or cream, you're going to want to pay attention to the uh, expiration date. It doesn't really matter about powders because powders are, pow are powders. Okay, so now we're going into the my new toy, the Whatever palette by ColourPop. This is a 12 shadow palette. I already rearranged this because I like rearranging my makeup to make it look as cohesive as possible. So I have a neutral row, a red row, and a sparkle row. Um, there's no, like one way to start building an eyeshadow collection. All of my eyeshadow palettes are pretty colorful. This is probably as neutral as it gets. So I'm going to take this shade right here and run it along the crease.
I enjoy red eyeshadow because it gives me all of the, you know, grungy... I especially love this palette because it gives me all of the grungy dreams I'm somewhat nostalgic for, even though I was born in whole ass 1996. I still am very nostalgic for, you know, grunge time because my brother was super... My brother is super into grunge music, or at least he was when I was a kid, and I always thought that it was, like, so cool. So I've always dug the aesthetic of grunge music. Um, you don't need a big collection of makeup brushes, by the way. You only need, like, one or two sets. I only have two sets. Um, no, I only have three sets. And I only got this set because all of the brushes have little rainbow handles, and I think it's cute. Um, then I'm going to go in with this shade right here it and I'm going to do something called a halo eye which is where there's darkness in the inner and outer corner of the look I use a lot of ColourPop because it's very accessible, it's cruelty-free, and it's super affordable, and it has a pretty good shade range for all skin tones. So, it's generally a brand that I like supporting, even though I, it's not sold in drugstores. But the price is pretty comparable to drugstore. Like, this, I think this was only $16, and Milani is selling, like, $20 palettes. So, then I go in with this really dark shade right here that I absolutely love and deepen that up further. I'm almost just stamping the color in. And then I I'm going to go in with uh, this shade right here and go in the middle with it, which is why it's called a halo eye, because it's like really bright in the middle. And then on the inner corner, I'm going to go into TTYN, which is a super shock shadow. I like ColourPop Super Shock Shadow formula, but I don't really use a lot of single sh uh, shadows. So, which is why I, I don't use them all that often, but... After the eye look is done, you're going to want to... Or, after the eye look is done, you do, you do cheeks. I have recently pretty much abandoned using powder cheek products altogether in favor of... Um, these stick cheek products because they're so handy and they're so good. Um, I do this thing where I do a draped blush and then run it across the nose. Which looks like a lot like this. I know. I know it looks like a lot, which is kind of why... People like to do clickbaity looks with the uh, with these because you know when it's not blended out it looks you know really weird. But whenever it's blended out, this is a really pretty purplish blush. Whenever we talk of this cream blush, is another one of those things where you have to pay attention to the expiration date, which is why I only have a few of them. If I didn't, if I didn't care about the expiration date of these things, I would get like most of the ones that are in this line because I really adore this formula. So now that I'm all purple, I'm going to take my, the highlight stick, which is flying high, which is this really pretty, um, purple shimmer, and do this. This makes for a really pretty, just 
not so much sparkle as a glow and I'm usually a sparkle kind of person but I do enjoy the glow that this gives um I absolutely love highlighters and uh the thing about highlighters and blushes and eyeshadow palettes is there's no one way to start collecting them because it's so creative how much like what you can do and with what product and making different looks so I can't really give you advice on how to build like a blush or highlighter collection I just really like these I really like the super shock um I really like the super shock blushes and highlighters and I really like most things that ColourPop makes honestly if you're going to take anything away from this video just take it that ColourPop has really good products that have never let me down so before we finish out we do a spray with finishing spray this makes every this dries up and makes sure that your makeup lasts for a while um so to talk about brands that i use um i have a lot of elf stuff i don't have any elf stuff with me right here but elf makes a lot of really good base products i've liked all of their base products like their i've li i like their primers i like their skincare i like their concealer i don't like their foundation but i i think they reformulated it so six dollars isn't a bad price to try it at um their foundation i like their blushes whenever i still use powdered blushes i people like their highlighters um but i'm not a fan of their eyeshadows for eyeshadows i usually go with ColourPop or juvia's place which are both also very affordable and also cruelty free um color pop i just like everything from and Wet n Wild, I don't buy from anymore because they lied about cruel being cruelty free for like a full year. So I, even if I wasn't cruelty free, I still wouldn't stand for that. Um, but if you're thinking of experimenting with makeup, you really the ones that you really want to go for because it's so accessible is you want to go with ColourPop and you want to go with Elf. These are both what they both ship internationally. I think uh, Elf has a lower international shipping rate than. ColourPop, but I do, but I do believe that ColourPop is in Beauty Bay or some other European thing. So if you're from Europe, um, if you're going to start doing makeup, don't go to don't go to a Sephora or an Ulta. I've never even been in a Sephora or an Ulta because I don't want to spend that kind of money on makeup because Sephora is way too expensive for me. Um, now I go in with a mascara. I already have fine lashes so I don't I'm not picky at all with mascara as long as it turns my lashes black and makes them look marginally longer or thicker I'm fine with it I'm not the person that you want to uh, ask about mascara okay now and mascara is something that you throw it out every three to six months because you're putting this near your eyes so you don't want to mess with the expiration date now lipsticks uh, liquid lipsticks you definitely want to pay attention to the expiration date cream lipsticks you have some give um, this is the Sophia Nygaard and Colourpop collab in Dothraki Screamer listen it's still fall so I am still going to be using doing my fall vibes makeup pretty much except that this is a new palette and I absolutely love the way this performs this is like a burgundy palette and I love doing dark red eyeshadow most of Colourpop's lip products are seven dollars or 750 something like that and for this formula it's really good most uh, I've heard that it's as good as any given luxury lipstick now you'll hear you'll hear people saying that you need this big collection of liquid lipsticks I don't use I only have a couple of liquid lipsticks that I actually use and those are reds because 
for some reason, having a re an actual red lipstick in a bullet like this, they it's super hard to formulate or something because it's always all so sheer, so not good. The formula is very soft, so I just don't wear uh, red cream lipsticks. I only have red liquid lipsticks. Um, but other than that, I almost always use bullet lipsticks because they're just easier to apply and they feel a lot better on the lips. This is a matte liquid lip formula and or a matte bullet lip formula and it is so much more comfortable than a liquid lip matte formula. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Um, I th and please remember to check up on what you're wearing that is expired. Brushes you should wash at least every month um, so that you don't get anything in your face from it. Other than that, yeah, I hope you have a nice week and I will be back next week with another video. Bye!